Whether it's high art or beautiful trash, the AV Club explores the best of film, TV, music, books, and games. Inventory is our obsessively specific pop culture list. Welcome to Inventory. Today we'll be talking about hilarious on-screen drug freakouts. In movies and TV, often drug freakouts are so over the top and strange that they become the funniest part of unfunny shows. So I want to share with you guys the story of 1982's Desperate Lives, an after-school special starring Helen Hunt. Now the movie basically takes place in this amazing high school where pretty much every student is on every kind of drug you can imagine. Any hot coke? Yeah, I got coke so hot to be on the highest All side right. of the subject. Now Helen Hunt is a little better because she's only toped a couple times. I've experimented. Her boyfriend, who also has kick-ass feathery hair, cooks up his own batch of angel dust in the school's science lab. And she comes in and, and he says, come on, baby. You know, like really puts on the heavy peer pressure. You gotta try some of this stuff. Come on, for anniversary. There's an amazing continuity error uh, in which he's holding the little bump of angel dust on his index finger when the shot is from behind him, and then when the shot is from behind her, all of a sudden the bump of angel dust is on his pinky. Awesome. You don't see her run for the window. You don't see her freaking out before it. Immediately, all you see is her crashing through this window. <laughs> The way these movies are written, you either assume that they are written by someone who has never seen or taken a drug in their life, or more likely a hilarious Hollywood screenwriter who's super high and is just like, this is, this is what squares want to hear about drugs. Please. So Nathan, your film deals with a prominent cast member of Miami Vice, is that correct? Uh, the film in question, I'm sure you're all familiar with it, is Death Drug, which is this insane, insane uh, 1978 anti-PCP exploitation movie. Philip Michael Thomas's character in Death Drug is an up-and-coming musician. Music is my thing. And the one realistic part of this movie is that, you know, he's involved in music and uh, involved in drugs at the same time. <laughs> And what makes this film such a bizarre, a sort of cultural slash kitsch artifact, is it was made in 1978, and then uh, Philip Michael Thomas, uh, he became a big television star and a uh, not very successful musician. And then halfway through the film, apropos of absolutely nothing, they have a music video from Philip Michael Thomas from like 1983 or 1984. And bear in mind that this film takes place in 1978, so the medium of music videos did not exist. So Philip Michael Thomas uh, gets pretty crazy with the uh, PCP. This will give you a high you won't soon forget. And has all these like bizarre hallucinations. <laughs> and he tries to quit. I swear to you, I'll never touch whack again. But then at the very end. <laughs> He has like this massive, like the mother of all uh, PCP freakouts. And there are all these plastic insects. And there are all these people in like these incredibly, incredibly cheap uh, monster costumes. And it really is like the prop department just went to like this uh, cut rate Halloween uh, good store for like all of the effects. So he's like, ah, ah. Runs into the middle of the road. And then he gets hit by a truck and he dies. And this has never been available on DVD. Like, I would like to correct that. Maybe we can start a Facebook campaign. I just want you to tell me that you love me. Genevieve, if I understand you're going to talk about a drug even more dangerous than Angel Dusta. Not every anti-drug uh, message has to involve people throwing themselves out of windows. Sometimes it can just be about good old marijuana and how hard it can be to maintain, as in the case of Freaks and Geeks, specifically the Chokin' and Token episode. Lindsay Weir, played by Linda Cardellini, tries pot for the first time. It doesn't work. She doesn't get stoned. I thought you said this was supposed to be fun. Yeah, this is fun, no? So she tries it again, and she gets totally wasted. The only problem is she forgets that she has to babysit. You're supposed to be babysitting for the Johnsons. I am? 
So how does an overachieving A student like Lindsay deal with being totally stoned and not knowing what to do? She reaches for a reference book and obsessively pours over the marijuana entry. Obviously it doesn't work, it just gets her even more freaked out. You're cheating! No, 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 I'm not cheating. Just give me some space, man, okay? Coincidentally, Freaks and Geeks was canceled the, the very next day after this episode aired. And then it was on uh, ABC Family. Yeah, I believe that they edited the uh, pot episode. Yeah. They edited so she dies at the end from smoking pot. <laughs> yeah. It'll be over. For more hilarious on-screen drug freakouts, check out avclub.com. <laughs>